another really critical technique with prompt engineering is the ability to assign roles, also known as role prompting. Here, what you can do is tell Claude or any large language model the role that he expected to play. This gives the model more context and the ability to be able to tailor the response to your query in a way that the role that you expected to play will do. So here's an example. Let's say you ask Claude to solve a complex logic puzzle and it may generate an incorrect response, but then you provide it actual context around the role you expected to play. So you say something to the effect of, you are a master logic bot designed to answer complex logic problems. Solve this complex logic puzzle. And then it might give you the correct response. So what this actually does is it changes Claude's tone and demeanor to match the specific role. It also improves Claude's accuracy in certain situations such as mathematics. And so by doing so, you can not only improve accuracy and performance, you can tailor the tone and style of the model. There's a number of different things that you can do with role prompting. For instance, you can do things like treat the model as a cat. You can treat the model as a PhD. You can ask it to perform something uh, that a lawyer might do. And none of this is meant to affect human performance. It is just providing better scope and clarity to the model to be able to respond in a way that matches your needs and your expectations for your use case. Thank you for watching.